Okay, right, welcome to uh, this video here on the Emissary plugin um, made by, well, I think it's STL Tones, can't really be asked to look it up. And um, somebody will whinge if I turn that way, you can't hear. Uh, you might see the edge of it on there. Now, in regards to tone demos, uh, I did a bit of daftness during the Christmas period, uh, a metal version of the Prodigy's Invaders Must Die. So I'll put a thing up here, if I remember, right, with a link to it. Or feel that it'll be down there, or maybe at the end of the video, I don't fucking know. A um, couple of things to bear in mind on that, before we get too far into it. Um, I started work on that about 2014. I was living in Edinburgh at the time. I was working as a senior environment artist at Rockstar Games. I wasn't enjoying being in Edinburgh at the time and rather than spend every night in the fucking bar getting palatic just to handle the reality of life I started recording more music than I had you know for a couple of years and I started this crazy idea of a metal version of Invaders Must Die Handily the Prodigy put all their samples from nearly every song online and you can find them all so when I started what was probably the world's most complex jigsaw puzzle and putting it back together I had a series of stems. Now, at some point over the years, it, you know, that computer blew when I moved back to my hometown. Literally that day, I plugged it in, everything went. Now, I thought I'd lost everything. It turned out, although I didn't have the individual tracks and the stems, I did have the mix of the backing track without the guitars. So when I came across that uh, at the end of November, I thought, really should do something with that. Um, so I didn't, I didn't have the ability to remix the back and there was no fucking way in God's green earth I was going back and redoing it, right? So that's why you can't hear the drums very much, plus also there's only a certain amount of fucking frequency and the focus was the guitar tone. And that uses the Emissary uh, plugin, which is the amp head. Uh, it also comes with, now I'm not sure if it's NAD IR or Nadir or whatever. I used it for years, you know, a couple of years uh, as an IR loader whenever I've used them. Uh, so it comes with that. Now that's great. Love that a bit. Interface is fairly easy to understand. I didn't have to look at the manual once, even in this new version 2 version of these fucking things. Um, it was fairly easy what everything did. The amp head. Well, yeah, you know, it's like, it's an amp head. You, you know what all the controls do, you know. Uh, what's my view on it? Well, you're thinking, he's going to see a positive thing, isn't he? Because he got halfway decent results when he did the Prodigy track. No, I'm fucking not. I'll tell you what I'm going to say about it. Um, to use one of Owen from Circle of Tones comments, this is a bit vanilla sausage. This has no fucking character at all. This has as much character as the UK politician John Major had, okay? It is just, it sounds there and polished, but there is no fucking personality. There's no unpredictability about it. There's nothing to get you started. Yeah, it can sound all right. One thing I didn't find particularly useful was most of the fucking controls. There's like two seconds, I'll check. If I can find out where the fuck it's at. There's, on this, about, it's not loading at the moment, but about four or five presets, which seems to me, really lads, that's the best you could do is four or five presets to show the best of this fucking amp head. The controls, to be honest, they don't really do a lot. Now, one of the things I was trying on a track, I tried it on, the, on a track last night, and I thought, oh, we'll give that a go just to be, see what happens. Didn't think it would fit, but you know, sometimes you get a surprise. And I thought, oh, well, all I'll need to do is roll all the bass end off, you know, to turn up the mids and take the top off the top end that should work. Imagine my surprise when the, rolling the bass end appeared to do a grand total of just about fuck all. That's right, it basically does one set of sounds pretty decent. It does it well enough. It would get away in a mix if you want to sound like everybody else. Uh, if you're doing some sort of like thrashy type fucking metal, you know, death metal fucking bollocks. Yeah, great. Not to say that's bad, it's just that like, it's not my thing at the moment, you know. Um, you could probably do something with it. Uh, you might get... Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Um, you might get a, a better result if you use a, set, a guitar with a set of EMGs or high output pickups. 
The only guitar I have with really high output pickups is my old Ibanez, which is currently under the stairs and only has uh, five strings on it and they're all rusty. So I couldn't really use that. But again, there's not a lot to this. It's really, yeah, it's free, but unless you really need that sort of tone, I wouldn't bother. The IR load is brilliant, mine. I would use that. I'm still going to use that. That's brilliant. I love it. The, the simple interface, two sides, but you know. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to point it to a custom folder rather than have to move all my fucking IR somewhere else in the hard drive because I'd rather not do that when it's already on another drive with other things. But you know, you can't have everything in life. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just there. It's, it sounds decent as long as you want to sound like every other motherfucker on the fucking planet. And I don't particularly want to do that. There's a time and a place for it, yeah, but you don't want every song to sound like every other person who's ever picked up a fucking guitar playing that style of music. So, yeah, that's my opinion for what it's worth. UI looks nice, man. It's all nice and got little glowy things. Oh, it looks very nice. Very professionally done. Somebody's put a bit of work into it. Some of the Photoshop work could have been done a bit better. Putting my professional head on, you know. But I've learned to not expect the world from the graphic abilities of plug-in designers. Right. So, skip musician reviews with this money old bastard. And I did say this one was going to be a special one. Because, yeah, it does what it says it's going to do, but it doesn't particularly do it in a cutting-edge way. It's way too predictable. There's no fucking character. I'd rather have an amp that's psychotic and does crazy things every now and again, and you never know quite where you're at, and you can't really control it. There's something that's just like... At a constant level. Maybe that's just me. Feel free to moan in the fucking comments. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in the last video, uh, this channel, right, it's not a democracy. It's a dictatorship. And if you step out of line, I will either turn off the comments on the video, or I will delete and block you. So, off you go. As long as you're polite and you're not an arsehole, you've got nothing to worry about. There you go. Bye-bye.